Shia LaBeouf has been in the news a lot recently, exposing his violent nature which has extended to his relationships and now starting to impact movie roles. Fans remain divided on which side they're on, drawing comparisons with the Her Depp case, but this story is very different. We give you a rundown of what happened. It started to unravel after FKA Twigs sued her ex-boyfriend Shia LaBeouf, with whom she was in a relationship with for one year between 2018 to 2019, accusing him of sexual battery, assault and infliction of emotional distress. Shia LaBeouf hurts women, states the lawsuit. He uses them, he abuses them, both physically and mentally, he is dangerous. The lawsuit also states that he strangled her on Valentine's Day 2019, slammed her against the car and then tried to strangle her. On several occasions, he would forcibly squeeze her arms to the point of bruising and control how many times she touched or kissed him every day and whether she should wear clothes to bed, according to Rolling Stone. When asked why she hadn't reported him to the police, FK Twigs told New York Times, I just thought to myself, no one is ever going to believe me. I am unconventional and I am a person of colour who is a female. She left him after the help of a therapist. To back her claim, the filing also contains allegations of abuse from Carolyn Foe, who dated LaBeouf for a year or two between 2010 to 2011. The claims state that one drunken night he climbed on top of Carolyn, held her down by arm, causing her pain and then headbutted her several times, causing her to bleed. Days after the allegations by FK Twigs went public, Shia's attorney Sean Holly has told Variety that Shia needs help and he knows that. She added, we are actively seeking the kind of meaningful, intensive, long-term, inpatient treatment that he desperately needs. LaBeouf's violent past tendencies are known to many. He has been arrested several times over years for drunken, disorderly behaviour and even even as recently as September 2020, he was arrested and charged with battery for trying to violently steal a man's hat. In 2017, he pleaded guilty to disorderly conduct and public intoxication and was given community service. In 2015, it was reported that his then wife Mia Goth had been in an altercation in Germany which resulted in him driving around violently. After the 2015 incident, it was claimed he apologised and admitted his addictions made him the way they were. After the court case was submitted by singer FK Twig, singer Sia came forward, publicly acknowledging her own struggles. On 13 December, she posted a link to the New York Times article and tweeted, I too have been hurt emotionally by Shia, a pathological liar who conned me into an adulterous relationship claiming to be single. I believe he's very sick and have compassion for him and his victims. Just know if you love yourself, stay safe, stay away. This advice has clearly not been taken by his new girlfriend, Margaret Qualley, with whom he has been spotted publicly making out. The 34-year-old actor was hand-in-hand hand with the 26-year-old actress, daughter of Andy McDowell, as they were seen at Huntington Garden in Pasadena, California, on Tuesday, 22nd December. The two have been practically inseparable since their relationship went public with a PDA session after LaBeouf picked her at the LAX airport on Saturday, 19. December. Watching the two together, the sexual claims and allegations seem to be almost unbelievable. However, not everyone is convinced. Olivia Wilde also fired LaBeouf from a forthcoming movie, a psychological thriller called Don't Worry Darling, in which he would have starred alongside Florence Pugh and Chris Pine. The reason given back in September was scheduling conflicts, but according to The Sun, the actual reason was poor behaviour during pre-production. Insiders close to the project say LaBeouf displayed poor behaviour and his style clashed with the cast and crew, including Wilde, who ultimately fired him, the reports claims. According to Independent, a source claimed he is not an easy guy to work with. Harry Styles will play the role instead. LaBeouf's lawyers say he is seeking help. LaBeouf first shot to fame at age 14 on the Disney Channel series Even Stevens. Throughout his 20s, he continued to have a series of breakdowns and struggled with drugs and alcohol, an issue for many child actors. Any form of violence is unacceptable, but LaBeouf's own mental health issues are a clear sign something is wrong. He may have been forgiven in the past, but will he be forgiven again? That is a question. Tell us what you think. And thanks for watching. Have it all daily. Please like, share and subscribe and check out our website for more.